and welcome to Ayako Cooking on Roller Skates. Hi, I'm Ayako, and you're on Cooking with Ayako on Roller Skates. Today, we are going to learn to cook a light hickory smoked tuna and noodles. The ingredients you will need today would be something that involves a whole wheat blend pasta, rotini or whatever style you prefer. Uh, we will have the, rag the ragu light parmesan alfredo and the tuna creations hickory smoked. Delicious. You will also need a pot and some water. Now first things first, make sure that your kitchen is clean. <laughs> Ooh. Next, you will look at the directions on the box, like so. Since we want to use the full box, we will need five quarts of water. Look at my apron. It is fabulous. Cute little kitty. Yay! Now we have a pot full of water. Yay! Not sure if it's really five quarts, but we'll go with that. Anyway, now we need to turn the oven or stove Good day. on high to a boil. Now we just wait and we add one tablespoon of salt. So that way, it reduces the stickiness. Here's some salt. We need one tablespoon of salt. Holy shit, that's going to be a lot. This is taking forever. I'm going to use the other side. You should preferably use that side so you can get the salt out quicker but not too quickly because it may spill over. I'm going to leave this until it goes to a boil. So now we just wait for it to boil. Boil! It is now at a boil. So, now we turn down the heat just a tad bit, put in the salt, stir it around, make it all nice and salty. We open the box, and we pour in the noodles. I know, who to guess? Make sure you don't burn yourself like I almost did. Now we just let it stir and make sure you figure out how many minutes to put it on. So I want it to be tender, so we will boil it for 16 minutes. Make sure to cook it uncovered, stirring occasionally. And don't fall down if you're in roller skates, because that can be a bitch. <laughs> now, we play the waiting game. So once again. Now that your noodles are finished boiling, make sure to turn off the heat. Then, to make sure that the noodle is the tenderness that you want, you must sample it without scorching yourself, like I'm about to do. Now keep in mind that whole wheat noodles will always be a little bit more grainy than other noodles, obviously, because they have whole grains in them. Perfect. Next, 
you will need a strainer. Now I have two different kinds. I have plastic and metal. Metal is the best to use. You don't want to melt the plastic. Now you set the strainer in the sink. Make sure you carefully take the pot without burning yourself over to the sink and pour the noodles away from your face. It's getting steamy up in his ear. Shake the noodles around a bit. Make sure you get all the water out. It's great for a facial too. My pores are opening up. I think my hand's on fire. All right, <laughs> now we go back over and pour the noodles back into the pot. Ow, 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 ow. Now, we take an entire can of ragu, or bottle, if you will, and pour it in. Make sure to get a spoon so that way you get all out. This way, it cools down the noodles just a little bit so it'll be easier and quicker to eat. Make sure to mix it up so we have a nice even coating. Mmm, that looks delicious. I don't know about you guys, but I love creamy sauces. Alright, make sure we get all the rest of this out. Sometimes you can use a rubber spatula depending on the shape of the jar and if you can fit it all the way in. One of these is probably the best to use because it's skinny. So, now that I'm making an oven mess, let's see if we can't get the rest out with this rubber spatula. It's so ooey and sticky. <sighs> oh, sorry. All right, next we want to add the tuna. So just open up your tuna creations. Mine is already open. I'm using a half packet, but that's only because we ate the rest of the half and we don't have any more in the house. So you just pour it all in there. Maybe, if it will come out. Use a spoon if you can't get it all out. Or you can use your fingers. Have them smell like vagina all day. No. Oh. I'm just kidding. I probably can't say vagina on YouTube, <laughs> but I just said it twice, so that's just too bad. All right, just mix up the tuna, get it nice and even, mm, and it's smoked tuna, so it'll make it have a nice smoky flavor. Mm, it smells delicious. All right, now it's time for the taste test. Delicious. Tune in next time when we decide to bake truffles. Ooh. See you next time.